What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Teddy Collector coming at you again with another video. And I recently had someone ask me, hey, you know when your Super Nintendo will power on, but this is all you get. What do you do? Well, stick around. I'm about to show you. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to break down the Super Nintendo and fix that no signal issue. When you get that no signal issue, typically it means that your Super Nintendo is not able to read your game cartridge. Uh, when that happens, 9 times out of 10, it is the pin connectors that need cleaning. So we're going to break open the Super Nintendo. I'm going to show you how to clean those pin connectors. Alright, what you're going to need is... Uh, security bit, and you're going to need a standard Phillips head screwdriver. All right, let's break it down. Okay, so we have unscrewed the security screws on the bottom side of the Super Nintendo and now you should be able to lift off the top lid and we'll just set that aside and now you can see the inner guts of your Super Nintendo. One thing we'll go ahead and do, or first thing we'll go ahead and do is remove the ejector switch here. Now all you're going to do is lift this up and pull this pin out. That will remove your switch. And there's a spring here too. And we'll go ahead and set those aside. Next thing we want to do is remove this ribbon. This is for your controller port. You're just going to simply pull it out and then you should be able to lift off your controller port and set it to the side. And then our next uh, thing that we're going to tackle is unscrewing these two screws to remove the power switch. And you're going to need your standard Phillips head screwdriver to do that. Once you have those two screws removed, you can then unplug the cable here. And remove the switch. Then we want to take off this plate. This plate is held on with two Phillips head screws. and it snaps into the pin connector here in the back. So 
once these two screws are removed, grab it right here and pull up on it. All right, next we can get to the pin connectors themselves. So you got a Phillips head screw here on this side and one here on this side. Remove those two screws and the pin connector should pop out. Alright, then you just simply pop off the pin connector and what you're going to want to do now on both of my Super Nintendos they were not working because the contact points here um, on the bottom of the connector were completely oxidized with green oxidation. So I took um, some cleaner and Q-tips and I sat there and scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed until majority of that oxidation came off. And then I also took a emery board fingernail file and lightly scraped over it to remove any excess that uh, any excess build up. Um, I also then took a q-tip and cleaned on the inside of the pin connector here with some 91% isopropyl alcohol and then I did the same on the contact points here and with the pin connectors here I simply just scrubbed them down and cleaned them up put everything back together and that fixed the no signal issue and that's what is going to uh, to be the solution nine times out of ten for your no signal uh, problems with your Super Nintendo is that the pin connectors just simply need cleaning so I've shown you how to take your console apart how to get to the pin connector remove the pin, co pin connector and also uh, which portions of it to clean so there you have it, let's get it all put back together. Alright, so there you have it folks. The Super Nintendo is put back together. Let's go test it out. Okay, so went from no signal 
when I hit that power switch to now when I hit that power switch. Look here. Beautiful. So that's what that's what happened when I brought these home. Both of these consoles, both of these Super Nintendos were giving me that no signal um, screen when I would fire uh, power them on with a game inside and nothing. So I had to take both of them apart and clean the pin connectors. Pin connectors, that's all it was. They needed a deep cleaning. So there's that one. Go ahead and switch that off. Unplug it. And we'll get this one plugged in. Let's see if I can do this one handed. All right, power. Got the AV. All right, sorry about that, but got that one plugged in. So we'll take. And now watch this. Beautiful. That's all it is, folks. All right. I've got links down in the description to all of my social media and my eBay. If you've enjoyed this content, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what you're waiting on. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, Hit the little bell icon next to it. When you do, you're going to receive a notification every single time I upload new content. All right, folks. I hope you're having a great night. I'm Tata Collector, and have a good one.